Hi, welcome back to Peter Sighted Century. Here I have a bottle of Calvados. Uh, not just any Calvados, but Calvados Pies d'Orge. Um, more on that in a minute, but um, first you're maybe asking, well, what's this got to do with cider? Um, Calvados is essentially distilled cider. So, it, in other words, it's like a brandy that's made from apples instead of a brandy that's made from, from wine, from grapes. <clears throat> so, that's essentially the difference between them. And um, Calvados comes from France, comes from Normandy in, uh, in particular. And uh, there are three different types of Calvados. Um, there's the Calvados AOC, uh, that's the Appalachian origin, the Controle. There's this one, Calvados Pais d'Orge, and then there's a third one, um, which is Calvados, I forget the name, but it uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, basically, they're all slightly different in terms of uh, the distillation process and the ingredients. Um, this one um, uses a pot still distillation and is double distilled. So basically that means that they're uh, distilling it twice and removing uh, the higher alcohol and the lower alcohol, keeping the sort of middle stuff, uh, and then redistilling that and doing the same thing again. And basically that's giving you <clears throat> the what's considered the, the, the best distilled spirit. Um, I guess the smoothest and the heart of the distillation as they, as they call it. Um, now, the Normans had been making cider for a long time before they started making Calvados. Uh, I think uh, they'd been making cider since the 10th century, but it wasn't until the 16th century, sorry, 1600s, so 17th century, that they started making uh, Calvados. And basically, that came along in the form of a Spanish ship which ran aground with uh, apple brandy lots of cases of apple brandy, uh, this, they found this stuff and I guess they thought, well, we could be making this stuff, you know, we're making cider, we, we, you know, uh, we, can, uh, we can distill the cider, so they figured it out. But anyway, if you're wondering why the name sounds Spanish, that's because the name Calvados came from this ship that, that ran aground originally. So anyway, I've never tried this stuff before. Uh, at least not that I recall. Actually, I probably have had it and, and just wasn't really too aware of it at the time. <clears throat> uh, maybe we just considered it another type of brandy. But um, this came from Tesco. It's actually bottled for Tesco. Uh, it's a VSOP. Basically, that just means it's um, aged for a certain number of years. VSOP in this case is at least aged for at least four years. Uh, I think the, you know, the cheaper ones probably be two, aged for two years, possibly even less. The more expensive ones can be the XOs, which are six years plus. Uh, <clears throat> and you can basically age a uh, Calvados as long as you want, really, and um, some would say it just gets better and better over age. <clears throat> But you know, four years, or at least four years, is, is a pretty respectable uh, one to try. This cost me £15. It's a 50 centilitre bottle. So it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of the same price as, <clears throat> well, it's a little cheaper than malt whiskey because it'd be hard to find um, malt whiskey quite this cheap these days. But it's, it's, it's kind of on that on you know, slightly cheaper than malt whiskey. I guess on the par with an expensive brandy or a cheap cognac, you know. <clears throat> so, 
I mean, color-wise, uh, you know, darkish. I think the older they get, the more they're aged, the darker they're going to get. <clears throat> the smell is definitely getting an apple smell and a sweetness to it. So it's <clears throat> to me, it's like stewed, stewed apples, sweet. Um, almost like a toffee apple or stewed apple kind of thing. Quite nice clean smell. I guess to, compared to a, a, a brandy, you don't get quite that. <clears throat> you get a big, um, f you know, the fumes in a brandy sometimes really hit you and can be quite rough. This is actually you know, smell-wise, it's it's pretty smooth. Wow, it's it's very nice indeed. It's there's a lovely sweetness to it. Um, obviously. It's got an apple character to it, um, but also I would say vanilla, there's a spiciness in there. I mean, if you've had spiced rum, that sort of thing, then, uh, or, or, or aged rum, um, it's, you know, similar kind of thing. It's it's very smooth. It's, I mean, this is forty percent. So, uh, it, <clears throat> but it's no. There's a there's a lovely smoothness to it. Definitely, it you know it's very refined. Uh, <clears throat> very refined spirit. Um, hard for me to. I mean, I've never tried another Calvados, at least not my memory, so I've got nothing to compare it to, but I like this one a lot. I think you get this fr fruitiness up front when you first try it, but behind that you get this lovely um, warmth and you get this sort of mixture of brown sugar and spices, vanilla, lots of stuff, Com very complex, but lighter than, for example, a cognac. I mean, I, uh, I had some cognac recently, which is an incredible drink. And you know, cognac is all about the, the incredible complexity and stuff going on and on after you take the sip. This one, maybe not quite as complex, but still, you know, still a lot of complexity there, but there's, I think what this has that the cognac doesn't have is this really lovely lightness when you first try it. Yeah, it's it's great stuff. Um, I could stand in front of the camera all for for a long time talking about it, but um, I I definitely recommend it if you like. I mean, obviously, if you like brandy, but even if you like, even if you're not especially keen on brandy, um, this might be <clears throat> you know worth trying because uh, it's definitely. For the price, I think it's definitely smoother than uh, a lot of brandies you might get that price, and lighter, and um, and, and and as I say, just quite a delicate. You know, there's a delicateness to it. I'm full of different flavors. You know, 
as I said, uh, vanilla, definitely vanilla in there. Um, a sweetness, so everything's mixed in with the apple. So you've got apple, vanilla, um, apple and maybe toffee. Uh, and um, and you know spices, cinnamon. I mean, it's amazing to think this is just comes down to, you know, they're not adding any of these ingredients. It's it's just comes down to the distillation and the aging, and obviously the choice of the uh, the cider that they make, <clears throat> you know, making it from in the first place, probably has a lot to do with it. I think. Uh, uh, I think it's important that they start with a good quality uh, cider, cider base. They can't just chuck any old stuff in there and distill it and it, it will come out like this. It, it, they, you know, so it's, it's down to the choice of apples and um, the thing about the, the Pai d'Orge region is it's supposed to have the best apples in, in Normandy for cider making. So I think that combined with the distillation process, the double distillation, double distillation and um, makes this a very uh, <clears throat> very fine uh, spirit in, in, indeed. I'm, I'm keen to try others now, I mean this is this is a good start I think but um, I'd really like to try a few, a few different ones. Armagnac can also, make, uh, sorry not Armagnac, uh, Calvados can also be made from pears so that could have a very different uh, quality uh, indeed and as I say the distillation you can also get a single, single distillation as opposed to double distilled which uh, <coughs> I guess again would give it quite a different character well all I can say is if you like apples <laughs> if you like um, strong spirits and you like apples and you've never tried Calvados uh, definitely give it a go it's great stuff and uh, if you're a brandy or a cognac fan and you've never tried this uh, I think you should so I won't go in anymore uh, but I'll retire with my Calvados and thanks very much for watching